Hello everybody, it's Rhonda and I have a short video to show you. I have been pulling out stuff, um, trying to kind of get organized this summer. So, I have some music books that I had gotten a while back when I first started seeing people using music notes, music note books and junk journals and I got these books a couple of years ago and they were put back somewhere and again I'm trying to get some things straight so I pulled these books out because I wanted to show them to you and what I did is I went online to calculate Roman numerals into regular numbers so I would be able to tell you when these books were copyrighted so this first book is this one and these are books that I had picked up at yard sales or little vintage shops so this one here was copyrighted in 1936 And what I liked it about this book is it had these little pictures at the top. And I thought they were real cute. And I have did a journal using a page out of this book. But again, it had like little illustrations that went along with the book. This one was copyrighted 1950 and it does have um the date in it and this one is taped as you can see uh, with some masking tape and it's real old and you can peel it off but this one also had some illustrations in it and it even had uh like little instructions for the students and it has been um written in so kind of adds to the character of the books this one is one that i found i think at a state sale a while back and it is real brittle but this one was copyrighted in 1897 and it's real like i said it's real delicate um uh, the pages are kind of brittle um this right here is like showing different types of pianos and organs and it was kind of like just a regular magazine, so it didn't have a date in it. This was just some um, sheet music that was in some of the books. And they're not old because they are like copyrighted 2000. And this one is... Mm, I don't see... A date on this one uh this was one that it didn't have a cover but it is as you can see it is old and brown and again uh dates are up there for i guess lessons that was that one this uh beethoven moonlight sonata Uh, it was 1995, so it's fairly new. This is a old one. It's taped all with masking tape also. And then I looked up the date on this one, and it was 1961. And it is, um, has some scribbling on it also. But again, it's taped up to hold it together. This was one, and 
I don't know whether date in this one or not, but just a music book. And this one was 1995, so it's not very old. And I like the, the little pictures in here because it was they were cute. Uh, this one is my the very first piano solo book. It's 1966. And it's real aged. Again, um, it was held together with some kind of tape. And then this book, I have shown it before, but it is 1935, and I did, I looked it up, and it is an original magazine, and I found it at um, a yard sale or something, and I only paid um, a dollar for it, but uh, again, I looked up this company, and it is an original book. It's from, I think, Paris, but it has, like, the little order forms that you used back then. And this paper is real old also. And then, um, this paper doll book that I found. And, again, this stuff was, like, boxed up in a closet. And I'm hoping to do something with this and I have been making little journals like crazy so that's some old news music paper and then I also found these little books sometime or another and they're just like little craft books so maybe this summer I will do a, some little things And then I found this little spirograph, um, uh, tin. And I do remember I got this at Goodwill, and I paid like a dollar and ninety nine cent for it, and it has been written on. And then I also found this at Goodwill, and it's just a little vintage fashion magnetic dress up dolls. So, that was that. So, that is my little video for today. And hopefully, I, and I know I probably will be finding some more stuff in my stash. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later.